So in this one, we're going to talk about conditional probability and the normal distribution. And they've done conditional probability before, way back in uh, probably year 10 or so. Uh, let's go through this question so we fully understand what's going on. Our class scores an average of 23 on a test with a standard deviation of 2. Uh, now, skip over this next line. It just says assume scores are normally distributed. So we can use the normal distribution. Okay. Uh, given a randomly randomly selected student received a score higher than 25, find the probability that they scored less than 26.5. Now, the hint that this is um, uh, a conditional probability is this word here, given. Usually, if it's like, given this happened, then this, that's conditional probability. Uh, all right, let's, let's draw in some of the key information here. So here's my normal distribution curve. Now, I can read from the question um, that there's an average of 23, so that's 23 there, and it's got a standard deviation of 2. Okay, so there's not really a place to draw in standard deviation, I'm just going to draw it like that. So it says, given a randomly selected student received a score higher than 25. So you walk into the class, there's like, a, I don't know, 30 kids in there, you pick one at random and you say to them, did you score more than 25? And they say, yes. Okay, let's just draw that in. More than 25. Do, 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 do. There's 25. All right, so we can say with certainty that the student is scored more than 25. Now we need to find the probability that they scored less than 26.5. Let's draw 26.5 in there uh, in um, black. Okay, here's 26.5, and we want to know the probability that they scored less than 26.5. All right, uh, I'm going to give you like a fancy formula, and then I'm going to give you like a layman's formula. Official conditional probability formula. The probability of A given, that line means given, given B, equals the probability of A intersection B over the probability of B. Uh, now I'm going to like dumb that down a little bit. A dumbed down version, the probability that of A given B is equal to the overlap, where A and B overlap, like a Venn diagram, over the given, which in this case is, is B over B. We might just put B back in there. All right, so that's what we're dealing with here. Uh, let's do this question here. Uh, all right, so we'll zoom in a little bit. The question that I'm being asked is something like, so the question itself is going to be something like this. The probability um, that, uh, find the probability that they scored less than 26.5. So the probability that X is less than 26.5. Uh, and then given, given we know that they scored higher than 25. Uh, given uh, X is higher than 25. All right, now that's going to be equal to, and we can, we'll do some fancy maths here, the probability that X is less than 26.5 um, intersection, so the overlap, X is greater than, I should be using big X's there, um, greater than 25, uh, and then all of that divided by, See if I can do a thingy here, fraction. And then we'll do a little fraction here. And this is where it gets a bit funky. The probability uh, that X is less than 26.5 um, intersection X is greater than 25. And then all of that is over B, which is the probability that X is greater than 25. Here we've got to do two normal standard uh, distribution questions. Uh, sorry, normal distribution questions. So we do the top one first. So it's going to be a normal distribution. X is less than 26.5 and more than 25. So we're just finding that bit in there. And then the bottom bit is just x is greater than 25. There's 25, and we're finding greater than 25. I should try to line them up a bit better. All right, so uh, they're lined up now, 25, 25. So we're finding this bit here, 
we're finding this bit here and then dividing one by the other. It's just getting your calculator out. Go into stat mode. Oops. Go into stat mode. Uh, distribution. Normal distribution. Uh, NCD. Alright, so first one I'm going to do is this red one here. Uh, lower 25, upper 26.5. Uh, we had a standard deviation of 2 and a mean of 23. And I can do that. And I get um, 0.1185. Just drawing that in there. Um, and now I do my next one. Distribution, normal, NCD. Uh, and I want more than 25. So I put an upper of a very large number, lower of 25. Everything else is right. And we get 0.1586. Now important to note, this probability down the bottom is always going to be bigger than the probability up the top. So if it's not, you've done something wrong. So now that I've got one divided by the other, it's just a matter of typing this into my calculator and seeing what pops out. Uh, so it's going to be 0 0.1185 uh, divided by uh, 0 0.1587. And the probability is 74.67 or 0 0.7467. Okay, so don't forget what that was. That was... Given the student has already told me that they scored more than 25, the probability that they scored less than 26.5 is 74.67% or 0.7467. Uh, what we've done here is something called conditional probability with the normal distribution.